Wall Street has long been seen as a boys club, yet half of all employees in financial services are female, but only 21% ever reach the executive level. But this power player has defied the odds. I don't like being told I can't do something simply because I'm female, and I've been told that, and I'll like it. Who is this modern hero? I'm Barbara Byrne, and this is my story. Barbara's knack for business blossomed in her hometown of Holyoke, Massachusetts. I am from a very modest background. My mother had to drop out of high school to work in a factory during the Depression. My dad died when I was seven. We lived in a two-family home. My aunt and uncle moved into the first floor after my dad died, and we lived on the second floor. They owned a flower shop. I worked in a flower shop. I learned a lot about selling in a flower shop. Uh, my first job there was taking thorns off of roses. Many days do I have to hearken back to that skill, am I taking thorns off of roses? Barbara earned a scholarship to Mount Holyoke College for Women, where she juggled multiple part-time jobs with her studies. But when she thought of her future, she was filled with doubt. Most of the young women I was at college with were very different from me, because I was wondering, could I make it? And I found this quote by Heraclitus, and it said, if you do not hope you will not find the unhoped for, for the way is hard to be found and the path is all but impassable. And I wrote it down on a small piece of paper and I still have it. It's a powerful, powerful thing. If you do not hope, you know, if you do not hope, you'll never ever find the way. The path is hard, but if you do not believe you will get there, you'll never get there. It's almost like from my perception it looked not easy, but I see the final result and I know that it wasn't easy to get to that point. Now you look back, you go, oh, it must have been a straight shot. And I have three daughters and one son, and they'll say, you don't know what it's like to struggle. I start laughing. I go, well, actually, yeah, I do. Barbara graduated with top honors and went on to work at Mobile Oil Corporation in New York for four years before moving to Lehman Brothers, where she quickly learned it wasn't easy being a woman in a man's world. My game plan was always to be the best I could be at what I was doing. I was technically very good. I made sure I was. As a woman, I had to be. People doubted somebody would actually hire me to represent the firm on their behalf. They'd say, no one will ever have a woman be their senior advisor. It's just not gonna happen. When you get those kinds of hits, you have to motor through them. They are painful. But I use the anger as best I can to blow through walls. She broke through walls and shattered the glass ceiling when she became the first and only female vice chairman in the firm's 158 year history. She also gave birth to the start of a major policy change for all women on Wall Street. Let's even talk a little bit about maternity leave because right. that's such an important issue for women. I had my first child in 87 and there was no maternity leave. So I remember walking into my boss and saying, how long is my maternity leave? He said, you get six weeks disability and X. And I go, well, that's not right. I'm producing a future taxpayer and I don't get benefits for three months. I really think I should have a three month maternity leave full paid on salary. And they agreed and they gave it to me. And I was the first person on Wall Street to get a maternity leave. Thank you on behalf of all women for doing what you did. Because I think a lot of people take for granted the fact that a lot of women can take it now and it, you don't have to take disability. But everything came crashing down when Lehman Brothers declared bankruptcy in 2008 during the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. When Lehman Brothers went under, you lost 60% of your net worth. I would tell you that when Lehman went under, it was a loss of family. It was a firm I loved. I loved the people I worked with. I would fight to my death, and we did, in trying to protect and defend it. I lost, within one week, 13 pounds. I was working so hard, trying so hard, to figure out what to do to make sure my team, I went out to try to get us jobs. I was able to secure them, but I didn't take them because we stayed. We stayed as a team. And yes, I did lose a huge portion of my net worth, but. I found out something really important as that happened, which is I am strong, I knew I could fight, 
I figured the best thing we can do is worry about our clients would stay on that. We focused on it and, we fo and I got everybody to focus in on somebody else, not on themselves. Her strategy worked and her entire team was acquired by Barclays in the sale of Lehman Brothers. But the transition took some adjusting. I was used to being known. I could come in and say, this is what we need to do. And I went into the first few committees and like, who are you? But when you've lost everything, you've got nothing to lose. So I sit there, well, let me tell you who I am. This is what we're gonna do. We've never done that before, you're doing it now. It was this immensely horrible moment and actually completely freeing moment at the same time to be able to say, this is what I really think is what we're gonna do. Now she's back on top with countless accolades and titles to her name. But to Barbara, the most coveted feat is still to come, equality in the workplace. A lot of your career you spend helping other people and helping women in particular. Yeah. I care a lot about fostering and creating opportunity. I am 62 years old, so right now I'm here fighting every fight, every battle. In addition to mentoring young women, speaking on panels, and taking an active role in advancing political agendas, Barbara also launched Barclays Women in Leadership Index, which invests in companies with either a female CEO or a board makeup of at least 25% women and market caps of at least 250 million. Since launching in 2014, Barbara says stocks have outperformed the S&P 500. Programs that matter to me are those that impact and influence and nurture the next generation. And I believe people need to speak up and need to call out issues. You will change the dynamic of the industry when we do that. And no matter what hurdles are thrown her way in the future, she is determined to keep fighting for equality. The common denominators to, to resiliency, for me anyway, are to simply get up and keep moving. Oftentimes when you get shocked, you stop, you freeze, you sit down. I do too and go, I don't know what to do. Get up and move. Because even if it's one step at a time, you will end up some up. Be slow, you'll begin to create that momentum. Get up and move. And you need to remember that when you're in a position of strength, you must be able to help other people. I like that attitude. I will view my career as a failure if women cannot achieve what I've achieved and beyond. Barbara is making a difference. How about you? Follow Modern Hero TV on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.